Bungie got bought out by Sony, and it's been long rumored that uh, Marathon, uh, Marathon Remake to be exact, is in the cards for them. And I just think that is such an interesting point of conversation because Xbox has always been known on the console side of things to be more the first person console. Everyone knows if you want to really get first person shooters, you go buy an Xbox because there's a lot on there in some way or another. It's not to say that Sony doesn't have them, not to say that Nintendo doesn't with third party. I mean, more stuff, people play Call of Duty on play- PlayStation than Xbox. True. Xbox, so, I mean, but, yeah. but Sony's never really quite been known for that. And games like Killzone, Rage, stuff like that, they tried to kind of have be successful. And Killzone, I mean, had its audience for sure, but they've never quite landed with their first person shooters the same way I think Xbox has, personally. But. I just think this is an interesting topic because what happens if Bungie, the people who were known for Marathon back in the day, who were known for Halo, who come out with a first-person legacy now known as Destiny, come out with a Marathon remake exclusively on PlayStation? I mean, can you? I mean, we. Can, I can't personally. Brian's more knowledgeable than I am, but I can't personally name off the last uh, first-person shooter exclusive that Sony gave us. So I just think this could be exciting. What do you think? Uh, yeah, there's a lot to say there. I think the last, and I, I could be forgetting as well, the last big first-person shooter exclusive I can remember from Sony was Killzone Shadowfall, which was just known as a you know less-than-stellar launch game that people m- mostly bought just to show off the power of their PS4. Um, obviously, there's Killzone fans out there. There's Resistance fans out there. I'm not saying they're bad games by any stretch of the imagination, but the general, you know... In the gaming industry, when we talk about first-person shooters that are, like, legendary, you never hear Killzone or Resistance mentioned in there. You hear Halo, you hear Call of Duty, you hear Doom. Some of those things I listed off are third-party, which is where Sony gets to benefit. You know, Sony gets to have, be the console that has the most Call of Duty players on it. So, like, where even me and Josh say, hey, Xbox is the first-person console, you still have Sony with the most players for first-person shooters on Call of Duty on their console. But... You have Halo, which is one of the best, you know, you can make your arguments for which Halo's as good as whatnot, or if they're not good anymore, if they are good, whatever, but like, Halo is seen as one of the best first-person shooters ever, one of the best games ever, that's something that Xbox has, Sony's never been able to offer something in comparison to that. Now, what's interesting about them acquiring Bungie, and I think I'm going to take this a little bit of a different direction than Josh probably expects, Um, they acquired Bungie with, like, the agreement that... Bungie stuff would at least Destiny. I, I thought it was everything, but maybe it's only Destiny. I thought it was only thir- Destiny, but yeah. Okay, wrong. maybe it is only yeah, maybe it is only Destiny. Would stay third party, right? But they acquired Bungie to get their expertise and knowledge behind like live service online games type stuff that and that and have that integrated into their studios as a whole, not just Bungie themselves under PlayStation. Um, so what I actually think is happening, I could be completely wrong. I could be talking on my ass, but I think. Uh, Bungie set themselves up very good for with Destiny 2, where Destiny 2 is kind of like running... It's not actually running itself, but you get what I mean. It's like running itself. It's on this like streamlined uh, kind of like output of content, and you got the player base really happy, and you have a committed player base that continues to spend money on that game. And Bungie primed themselves for a good time for acquisition, right? Because now Bungie can have the influx of cash from Destiny, which is already kind of developed and running itself, then you have Sony coming in with their cash, helping Bungie out, helping maintain Bungie. Bungie can help them with the online stuff. And then, in time, Bungie can work on another project and not have to worry about having like overseas like Tencent bat- funding them to get their game put out because they're an independent developer. Right. Or having to make sure that they ramp up Destiny expansions to generate more money to create a new game. So I think what you're going to see here is Bungie helping Sony with their online services and infrastructure and stuff, and Sony supporting Bungie financially, but I think it's going to be a significant amount of time before we see a full-on game output by Bungie. I think they're just in a, like, maintenance, kind of setting a new stage for themselves period of time right now. I don't think we'll see Marathon at all, but I think it would be awesome if they're remaking But it would be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool, And, and this is what's so cool about it, right? Because, like, when they broke off when Bungie broke off from Microsoft, the deal was, all right, we'll let you leave and keep your IP, but we're keeping Halo. They got Microsoft let them leave with Marathon, right? And Marathon, you know, co- you know, in the industry at the time and now even, Marathon's not really worth much, right? Like most people you talk to on the internet probably don't even know what Marathon is. Right, or if they right. do, they just know it's the game that that studio made before Halo. They never played it. Mm-hmm. But 
if there's any studio that can make a first-person shooter exclusive to Sony that you're, that's going to make people go, I got to have that game. It's freaking Bungie. I cannot think of a single per, like developer on the planet who could make a first-person shooter exclusive that I would want to go get more than Bungie. And if they put out Marathon, please, please, God, let it be a, a typical single-player experience. Don't let this be, you know, Marathon is this online How kind of Apex interesting, Brian, Battle Royale would it be game. if this game comes out with a full-fledged single-player campaign, even if it's years from now, and has multiplayer, and suddenly the conversation shifts to, if you want Xbox, you play Halo. If you want Sony, you go play Marathon. And suddenly those two don't become things that were conceived at Bungie. They become like a brother and sister that are being pitted against one another at opposing corporations. It's kind of crazy to think about because there is a very, very strong chance that if Marathon resembled Halo at all, which it should because Marathon is the DNA of, of Halo, that there's a very strong case that Marathon would be the series that's seen as better, right? Like Marathon, you play as like a space soldier in space fighting aliens with a lot of the same kind of aesthetics and even like some designs. Like some, I, I'm sure everyone listening to the podcast who, who loves Halo knows this already, but some designs that were used in Halo were Marathon designs. So that when Bungie left Microsoft, when Microsoft, when 343 made future game, Halo games, they had to change the design that was used in prior Halos for their games because Microsoft no longer owned the rights to those trademark logos and designs because they're Marathon now. Mm-hmm. So, if, so if, you know, and one day, you know, man, what an epic showcase that'll be if, if, if uh, Sony comes out and says, this is Bungie's Marathon. Built from the ground up, it's a reboot of the series. You play as blah 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 in space fighting oh, aliens. That's how they show speak presentation. Oh, oh, and then they show like some it. epic gameplay of like fighting these aliens on some like abandoned Delaric ship, yeah. and you're just like, oh my gosh. And the thing is, like Marathon, the expectations are so, like the ex- expectations for Bungie are high, but the expectations for Marathon are so low that it would be pretty easy for the conversation to be. Like and you know, like people on Twitter, Reddit, they break it down to this, and it's annoying. But it would be easy for the conversation to become, uh, Bungie left Halo and it sucks, and now they have Marathon and it's good. Yep. And then it yeah, just I be like that being Marathon topic. is the new Halo. Yep. And then it'll be it'll be this whole thing where like people are, are Marathon's the game. Like that's the game. That's the shooter you play. Yeah. And you'll see Xbox. They'll release more Halo, but it'll be like this this old past thing. And while I don't necessarily, of course, I don't want that in the sense that I'm a Halo fan. But what I do want is good games that have earned their right to be here. So if Bungie puts out Marathon on PlayStation as an exclusive, and it's genuinely better than one, two, or all of the 343 Halos, I'm going to say that. I'm going to admit it. I'm going to say, yeah, Marathon's better than Halo now. I want to play that more. Like, I don't have this, you know, people sometimes, and I know sometimes we're probably just mostly joking, but people in our Discord will say, oh, Brian's kind of a Sony fanboy. But I just go where I think the best... <laughs> is right so like i as much as i love halo and nothing's probably ever gonna top halo 1 and 2 for my favorite games of all time i got no problem saying yeah marathon's better than halo now i got no problem and i loved infinite right so i bring the competition give me something good but man would it be a shame if bungie was like here's marathon it's a multiplayer only competitive shooter yeah, with all that would be such like, a missed opportunity what a waste. it would be such a missed opportunity because that what we just said right there gets me so excited at the prospect i mean Let's pretend that's the greatest timeline we're in, and you start to look at micro, or Sony across the board, and you're like, oh, interesting, now they're getting into the live service stuff with Last of Us Factions, you know, they got this multiplayer thing they're building up, right, in the portfolio, bam, now a big first-person shooter exclusive IP to compete with Halo, if not overtake it, and change the conversation, how, you know, when does the conversation shift in that timeline to Xbox, or Xbox having its legs kicked out from under it, everything it stands on? that it's still known for, that Sony isn't necessarily doing, starts to do on top yep. of what they already have, that's top where the, the conversation gets yeah. real interesting to me because I want the competition. Because you know what? If they come out with Marathon like that, like we just said we wanted, and it's a banger, oh my gosh, you got to imagine that eventually Microsoft... Microsoft isn't going to necessarily say in, in, uh, in front of everyone that they're going to compete. But you got to imagine behind the scenes they're going to say, all right, we're not... You know, this is clear... This almost feels like... A shot, you know, like a like a cannon, you know, just a just opening fire on what could be this big first person shooter like battle between these two. Let's 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 get Halo going again. Let's let's figure just, this it out. It just sucks because you like, want the once competition. Again, 
Once again, guys, we don't want Xbox to fail in any way. We don't want Sony to fail in any way. We just we want things to go. I want everyone good to be but, to have fun. And I just think that the more each one of them does better in their rightful fields, the more it makes the other one competitive. And I think we we benefit as consumers. We so. do, and that, but that's what sucks though is we know how we know how Halo Infinite was made. We know how they used contract workers, and we had different leads and people. They just shed employees through the entire process of making Halo Infinite. But we see how Sony runs their studios, right? They get they keep their people. They 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 have them full time and committed, and they let them bring their ideas to the table. And they they will have the same people working on. Uh, these IPs that were working on them 15 years ago. They don't keep shedding talent and bringing new talent in. So you know if freaking Bungie, Sony-backed, gets to do a marathon AAA reboot from scratch, that is going to be banger. And I can't imagine... Oh my gosh, the skyboxes? Ooh, ooh, I can't imagine. Ooh, if that's actually ooh. like a single-player proper, like, you know, this is them doing something like they did with Halo again, but with yeah. Marathon... I can't imagine me being excited for much else more than this. And and I know there's people in our community who are big first person shooter fans, especially Deante comes to mind first, but there's people yeah. like that in our community right. that I don't know how they'd handle this, right? Because it's like first person shooters is their thing. That's why they came here, that's why they came for us is because of Halo. And if there's this banger sci fi first person shooter on Sony exclusive and it's marathon. Are these people gonna go? I gotta buy a PS5. Or are they gonna say no, 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 no? Halo's good enough. I'm good. Halo's good enough. I don't know, man. It's really exciting to think about. It I is. think we're not gonna see any new game from Bungie this year. I agree with you. I, I think the most coming. we could see, and I think it's a pipe dream at best, is an announcement of it. That Just it's a marathon coming. logo. Yeah, something like that. Like at best, but I don't know. That give me hype cool. still. It would for me here's too. The thing. Tell here's me your thing. Like, on it. Here's the thing, and, and I know I can hear people in the comments right now already saying this, like. People go, oh, well, when Microsoft showed a CG trailer for Avowed or Fable, you guys just shit all over it. Well, here's the thing, guys. We didn't shit all over it when it happened in 2020. We're shitting all over it when it happens in 2023, and we've still seen nothing new. We haven't seen gameplay. We haven't seen a release date. We don't have the game. Nothing. And, and, and meanwhile, we're not yeah, getting new point. content from Microsoft. Sony, though, here's the thing. If Sony comes out and they show off, like, boom, Marathon logo developed by Bungie. That's all you get. Yes, it's going to get us excited because you know what's going to happen? We won't get Bungie's Marathon until 2027, 2028. But on the way there, we're going to get freaking, woo, new God of War, new Spider-Man, Wolverine. We're going to get freaking Ghost of Tsushima 2. It's got Ratchet and Clank. I mean, you, on and on and on. We're going to get... The expectations banging. are definitely different between both sides of the coin, you know, so yeah. uh, of the same coin. So, uh, yeah, and I, I think you hit the nail on the head, Brian. I would not be bothered by Sony doing that simply because that's not something they typically do and they must feel pretty confident to do that whereas Xbox, you know, looking back at least in hindsight when that happened in 2020 it was more a case of here's what to expect this console generation unfortunately not just here's what to expect within the next first couple of years so when that's, again, it's another case of when something's an exception, then it's awesome to me when it's more sort of the, uh, the main thing that's carrying the weight I don't like it as much, but but still, uh, suffice it to say, I think that would just be great for Xbox too. I would. It sounds almost counterintuitive to say that, but I just I think in a timeline where Marathon is coming out and we see gameplay someday and it looks fantastic and it's having a multiplayer alongside the campaign and it's coming from the people who created Bungie, which is why anyone who listens to this is here because you started usually with Bungie. Uh, I just think that's an interesting conversation, and I think that would just only motivate Xbox. I don't think it would make them want to just cast off into the sunset. It would just motivate them to really step it up with their, their first-person shooters because that's something they really have to represent themselves. That's a huge part of their DNA that, again, it's not like they necessarily own that, but that's the association out there with Xbox. So what happens when you start to sort of take that uh, conditioned association away interesting stuff interesting stuff 